What's new in the April update of Pixel Experience Plus and Normal Edition builds running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And we finally have the April 2021 update of Pixel Experience Plus and Normal Edition available for the Xiaomi Poco F1. Let us cover the changes which you can find in these builds. Do note for the April 2021 build, the change log is same across both the normal and the plus edition. So as you can see, I am running the official Pixel Experience Plus edition. The security patch has been updated to April 2021. Android version of course is 11 and the kernel they are using is Etude kernel. Do note Etude kernel uses pixel thermals. So in case you want to flash a custom kernel on your build, you do need to check with the developer whether it supports pixel thermals or not. Now, those of you who want to learn how to install this ROM or have a look at the features of the first stable build, we do have videos for those which can be found in the description of this video along with the video which shows you the differences between Pixel Experience Plus Edition and Normal Edition. Now, before you ask me where did I get this wallpaper, well, once you have installed the ROM, update your applications from the Play Store and then you can go into Styles and Wallpapers, Curated Culture and here the first three wallpapers which you see are the new Earth Day wallpapers which Google has released and this current wallpaper which I'm using is one of those. Now the first change which they have made is they have fixed the weather information not showing up in at a glance on the home screen on the Pixel launcher. It's not showing up for me right now as well, even though I have my location enabled, but I'm pretty sure it is going to show up in a few minutes or maybe half an hour or something like that. Then they have made improvements to face unlock and yes, Pixel experience does come with face unlock on the Poco F1 and it uses the front infrared camera. So they have improved face unlock and the issue of front camera being occupied should happen less frequently and unfortunately Pixel Experience does not come with app lock. Another change which they have done is that the boot animation will now always be dark irrespective of the fact whether you're running a normal theme or whether you're running the dark theme. Then they have also done some performance and stability improvements. But the biggest change here is gaming thermal. So if you go into settings, battery, optimization profiles, and then you can choose your thermals on a per application basis. And let us say I want to change the thermal for Chrome. Bam, there it is. You have only two options so you have no optimization and then you have games yes the developer has implemented gaming thermals for the pixel thermal engine for the xiaomi poco f1 and before you ask me why are there no other options well as per the developer gaming and no optimization is good because no optimization covers all the other thermal profiles which you see on other roms like youtube battery all those things should be covered by no optimization and if you want good performance in your games use the gaming thermals next up they have also fixed the issue wherein the big cpu core was locked to the maximum cpu frequency this means that you should get better battery backup on this latest build of pixel experience plus and normal edition for the xiaomi poco f1 Next thing we can do is we can check for safety net. So here it is, Magisk Manager. Of course, I am using the latest Canary build. Check for safety net. Download proprietary code should be good to go. And as you can see, safety net is passing without any issues. We can also open the Google Play Store and check if the device is certified or not. So here it is, Play Protect certification device is certified, which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues. In terms of YouTube, YouTube media playback everything works without any issues live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to be in a specific country or 
you need to pay for YouTube premium not gonna talk about Prime HD content because that has been broken on the Poco F1 for ages and Netflix never certified Poco F1 for HD content either next thing let us check whether hey google is working or not so there it is on your screen hey google works with the screen turned on next thing let us turn the screen off hey google are you awake and as you can see hey google works with the screen turned off as well next thing we are going to check is whether portrait light feature works or not so let us try to edit a picture of my favorite football star and right now we do not get the option for portrait light let us go back try to edit it one more time wait for this loading bar to finish doing its job and then if you go into adjust so i'll have to repeat it sorry about that go into adjust portrait light here it is portrait light in the building and it works without any issues let us check the app opening animations and here are the app opening animations on your screen right now no jitters no lags recents working without any issues everything is pretty smooth select works like a boss screenshot also works without any issues let us have a look at the google feed and here it is google feed is there and there are no jitters and no lags in the google feed either let us try switching between a few applications again no issues with respect to switching between the applications as well and it does look like when you reach the end to google assistant it kind of gets stuck so all in all another great build of pixel experience for the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you